Yeah, Mike, I actually spoke with them at the police department where they were filing a report. They tell me that on Friday morning they put their son on a Shriney Barton school bus right from this garage here in Washington County. They say though when he came home, he was bruised, scratched and crying after two kids in second grade beat him on that bus. I got beat up on the bus. Roman DeMeglio is just six years old. I don't want to go off back up on the bus. The story he tells breaks his parents' heart. He said that he was uh, held down and kicked and punched in the face, chest and stomach. On his school bus ride home from kindergarten, his mother was there to greet him. The moment I saw his swollen face and the cut on his cheek and his swollen forehead, tears in his eyes, I immediately ran to the bus. She says two adults on the bus claim they never saw Roman being attacked. So mom and dad, Kathy and Mark DeMeglio, say they went to his school, Ellison Park Elementary, where they say they watched the bus video showing two children hitting their son. That's my baby. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe how I feel. Heartbroken, that's the best I can He's my everything. The DeMeglio say the students who hurt her son apologized and that their anger isn't directed at them, but towards the school and the adults on the school bus who they say should have stepped in. Officials at the bus garage wouldn't comment. They referred me to the school superintendent who provided this statement, saying because of the confidential nature, they will not comment, but that they are addressing the matter. For Roman and his parents, that's not enough. The school is supposed to protect our children when they're in their care. They want what happened to Roman to spark changes. It has for their little boy. I would like to help the other kids too. I spoke to the father of one of the students who's being accused in the attack on that bus. He tells me his son has been disciplined both at home and in school with detention. But he says what happened on that bus was just horseplay. He tells me he saw that video as well. As for Roman's parents, they tell me they are in the process of hiring an attorney. Live in Washington County, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.